What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Extreme Dealer Drives where we always ball on a budget and wrench in our garage. We have a special guest today, we have Jordan. The in-game dunker. The in-game dunker. Uh, follow him on Instagram. Savage, Savage Boy J. Savage Boy J. Yes sir, we not, got not his... gonna accept your follow because I'm private. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. We got his Rat Rod Miata here. This NA Miata that he got, it's really like a drift car. Uh, that's the goal for it, right? Yes. We are going to replace the header today because it has a huge leak in it down there. He got one off eBay. It's beautiful. It's a one piece stainless steel. How much was this? 80, to 80 bucks. 80 bucks shipped. Yeah, 80 bucks shipped. We're always balling on a budget of Extreme Dollar Drivers. So we are going to get this old one off and we're going to get the new one on. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So the first thing that Jordan's doing is taking off that O2 sensor with an adjustable wrench. It's hot. actually an AEM. Yeah, it is hot. We just drove here. <laughs> <laughs> it's an AEM wideband, and uh, we don't have a O2 sensor wrench. I'm gonna so, have to build the other one. Yeah, you're gonna flip that over. So we're using the adjustable. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right, so we got it loose, and it's smoking hot, of course. So we're using a shirt so we don't burn our hands off. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a pain in the ass to undo because it's a line, so it like uh, keeps getting tighter. It keeps getting yeah. Well, it it it, it doesn't want to spin. All right, so we got the O2 sensor out. That wasn't so bad. We got these lubed up with some PB blaster. These are going to be super easy to remove. Um, we're not going to do these first. We got to do the two underneath the car first uh, because if we do these when we try to whale on the ones underneath, everything's going to be too loose and we're not going to be able to get good leverage when we start twisting that wrench. So. We're gonna jack the car up, and yeah, if you see that little puddle, that's where the bolts are. All right, so one of the bolts was a 14, and Jordan thinks this one's a 10. It is a 10. It is a 10. I might need an actual wrench. Yeah. You need? How come? You just can't get the wrench in there? Yeah. All right, stay there. I got you. Stay there. No, I'm coming. No, no. I'm <laughs> coming back out. I'm just a little claustrophobic. <laughs> I don't know if I have a 10 millimeter wrench. I know Eric does. I got 16 of them, bro. <laughs> all right. I'll take all of them. Well, here, try to break it loose with this one. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. So you push up. Did it go? Yeah. Here, take it off with this one now. Throw me that one back. You throw me the whip, I'll throw you the idle. Shoot it. Technique. That's a ratcheting one. Oh, hell yeah. Luxury. Luxury. What the fuck are you <laughs> <laughs> It's Jordan's first time with an impact wrench. Alright, so, right, so top want, button. I want top button. Yeah, so, so get it on there good. Make sure it's in all the way. Now right, hit that top button. Look at that, huh? Money. Money. Here, let me have them. Yeah, or put them there. It's fine. Don't worry. All right. Well, we'll use our wrench to get. Can you get that one? Upside down action. Try it. Got it. All right. Well, that got some of them off. Three of them. These things are hot. So Jordan surprised everybody. He does have a gasket. He actually has new bolts, so we don't have to worry about that for down below. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, we're gonna pop this header off. We got all the nuts off. We're gonna pop this we're thing off. It. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna pop this sucker off and put the new one on and hopefully you'll be able to fish it all the way down why don't you try wrestling that thing off let's see how that works out let me get this o2 sensor oh, out of the way oh you're gonna pull it straight up that's the way it's gonna come out it's gonna be awkward you're gonna have to fish it there you go. I see the route still I might have to twist it and stuff or I have to go back down with it to get around that uh, Steering rack? Steering rack. Maybe. <laughs> Something that's broke on this car. Look at you. Oh, baby. Look at you. Two year olds. Dude, too bad we don't have a scale. Dang. Find out which one's heavier. Gross. It's taking longer to unwrap this thing than it is to actually get the old one out. Dude, this thing is mint. Very nice. Almost 
there. Ladies Almost there. Ladies. Sweet. All right, throw that off to the side. Let's lay that thing down next to the old one. Dude, Ooh, bolt holes are gonna line up. They are. This is gonna be perfect. Yeah. Here. And that one's definitely lighter than <laughs> that hunk of bowl. So check it out. It's gonna really spice up the engine bay. It is gonna spice up the engine bay. Yeah, well, I'm gonna like wet wipe all the engine bay. Wet wipe? <laughs> we'll have to clean the nuts and shine them up so they're nice and pretty when we put them back on. No. So we're cleaning the surface where the new gas is gonna made up to the head there. We don't have a brake cleaner, but we got Simple Green. And it looks like it's doing a hell of a job. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. This is not a sponsored video. Believe it or not. Put on. All right, so new gas is going on. It's on one side, but not the other. Yeah, this happens sometimes. I may have to grind it down or something. Might, eBay, might just you force bastard. This yeah, is force it if you can. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 my. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not force it. Maybe not force all right, it. All right, we got to reevaluate. All right, so we elongated the holes as best we could. It's sliding on now, but it's going to be a pain in the butt. Right, it's I'm not gonna... the most quality thing in the world. Yeah, 80 bucks. But it'll work. It'll do. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Good Money. Enough. Good enough. So far during this install, this is the hardest part. This has been the most <laughs> lengthy <laughs> and difficult part. That thing looks sweet. It's going to be. Dude, this car is going to be so fast. All right, header goes in the same way it came out. This one will go in much easier. The O2 sensor is going to be a little. O2 sensor is going to be fine. You're going to have to probably spin that, rotate it, whatever you have to do. Don't force it. Oh, it's forced. <laughs> All right, so we got the transmission bell housing. There you go. All right. I All forced right. it. You forced it and it worked. Look at you. Well, we can get the rest on with bolts. Yeah. So this is what happens when you buy eBay stuff sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Most of the time. You have to finesse it sometimes. <laughs> it's not always the perfect cut or fit. So we have, we hogged out those holes with a bigger drill bit, and then we knocked some of those studs around in order to get those uh, that header on, and now we're knocking the header on. But that should be good enough for now. I mean, the bolts will pull on the rest of the way. Do you, con so. do you concur? I concur. <laughs> We're trying to put the O2 sensor on, and uh, it's finger tight. It's finger like tight, it. but it, it's hard to get a wrench in based off its location. Right here will be money. Could a regular wrench fit? I think so. Okay, so it's probably like a 22 millimeter or something like that. I got one. Yeah, it's huge. All right, let me see what I can get. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what a shot! That was a snag. <laughs> Do right your hand. <laughs> no, that was on me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so O2 sensors in. And now we're bolting up the new gasket. Oh, and now we're bolting up the new gasket to the uh, the old exhaust. And this thing's gonna be ready to rip. Shit. Tater chip. So this was the gasket that was on there. We replaced it with a nice new one. All right, so we're on the home stretch. Bolting the header on. It's really the last step. We're gonna finish cranking these on and then uh, wipe the pipe down so we get all the grease off of it. And then we'll start it up and check for leaks. All right, headers installed, wiped down, everything's good, everything's connected. Uh, this is chipped. This is not stock ECU, so we're not going to reset the battery or anything. Um, we're just going to turn it on and see what happens. Fire in the hole. Not bad. <laughs> Look at this not man. Bad. <laughs> Covered in grease. <laughs> With my base bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude. It smells like a new header. Thank you so much. Success, no problem. That exhaust right after the cat, not where we just left it today, but under there. After the cat is dead. All right, so future video, we're gonna get an eBay cat back exhaust, and fix that other exhaust leak. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go for a test drive. See how she rips. It's JDM. Uh, oh, no, it's not the SPC. That's Little JDM hideaway spot back here, right by our storage unit. That's not the S15. That's still nice though. They got some cool cars. 
was on over this here. Is the we, this is the weakest day I've seen, honestly. We need to get in on this, whatever it is. What do they know about a long shifter? Yeah. The thing is beauty. Oh, easy McDonald's. You need to chill out. How are those brakes? Squishy. <laughs> Now it's full pedal. <laughs> no, no. I'm playing. Let's get it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please check out the website extremedillagedrivers.com. Thank you, Jordan, for letting us wrench in your car for the day. And we'll see you next time. Later.